Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with Nicole, the gut girl. Thanks for being here as always, Nicole. Thank you for having me. All right, so um, if you guys like this stuff, please like and subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, so Nicole, we're going to talk a little bit about the liver. And you, you called it something, actually parasites in the liver. Tell us about that. Okay, so I'm seeing in my practice, I'm seeing a lot of people with parasites lately. Um, and one of the hardest parasites to find is called a liver fluke. And the reason why it's hard is because it embeds and burrows into the liver and it causes all sorts of problems that you really wouldn't think of. But because I'm seeing other parasites in people, I am cleansing for the flukes as well. So because it's, it's very hard to test for, the best test is to look at your poop. I mean, you know how much I love poop, but you look at your poop and look and see what's in your poop. If you have something that looks like weird eggs in your stool, um, not a good sign. If you if it looks like you're not digesting your food, it might be a liver fluke because they look like little leaves in your stool and they can look like little sticks. So I've seen, I've had a lot of people as we're doing parasite cleanse come back to their appointment and say, I'm seeing these really weird things. What do you think? And that's liver flukes. So what happens is it works. So Nicole, is it coming out like that because you're doing the cleanse? Exactly. And sometimes okay. you'll get it just randomly in the stool because they're, they're coming out on their own, but they really multiply and live in the liver and it causes a lot of problems because the liver, it is the hub of everything. It detoxes your toxins, it converts your hormones. That's why when you, what you put through your body is so important because the liver is doing so much good for you. So I'm seeing a lot of people with unexplained cholesterol levels and unexplained hormone issues that can be a parasite in the liver because what's happening is it's taken over the liver and you're not um, transforming and producing hormones and your cholesterol is going out of control and you have a great diet, it wouldn't be from that. So you need to look at parasites in the liver. Yeah. Parasites, those are nasty little buggers and they're hard to mm -hmm. get out. And they're hard um, to detect. Yeah, they're, they, they, they hide, you yep. know, and there's a lot of IV treatments and so on that, that you can do that will help with that. Um, but your liver is so critical for your health and for, yeah. and when it's not working right, you know, it's like eating seed oils. When you, you know, when you're eating seed oils, you're going to mess everything up and that can cause starts with insulin resistance. And then from there you get all kinds of other problems. Yeah. One thing you get is fat, right? Absolutely. Well, and you get a fatty liver because that stuff's rancid and it's feeding the things like parasites and bacteria, you know, and it's important. I, people come to me and they, the very first thing that we always do is I do a liver cleanse with almost everyone. And that's not being cookie cutter ish. That's being, practical because most people have eaten the standard American diet. They've drank it some portion. They've put rancid seed oils through their liver. So I am very particular about we have to start with a liver cleanse in order to get and eradicate all the other things that could be going on in the body. Well, I want to ask you about that in a minute, but um, the, the parasites, can, they can cause a lot of these same issues with your health, right? If, if your liver is not working right, it can cause a lot of, can it cause a lot of these same problems? You know, diabetes, you know, heart disease, blah, blah, blah. Oh, absolutely. You know, one of the things that I see a lot and one of the reasons a lot of people come to me is because they have been the traditional route and they're not getting any answer. We don't know. We don't know why you have a fat, fatty liver and you're you know, in your early thirties and eat healthy, don't drink. So why is that? Then we have to go do some other specialty testing and see 
see what's going on. The other thing is, is it uh, presents in such a fashion that you could think you just have the flu. You can have nausea, you can have stomach pain, you can have changes in stools, you can go from constipation to totally uh, terrible diarrhea. Also, you guys, when you see a holistic person, they're going to look at your labs in a different way to pick out if something's going on. If a WBC is low, it shows chronic bacteria, a WBC, which is a white blood count cell, um, an acute bacteria is high. Eosinophils, I always look at eosinophils to see if they're high or low based on bacteria. So we're going to look at it a little bit differently than your traditional medicine is going to look at it. Okay, so um, you may have to explain what those things are. Um, you're talking about blood work, right? Absolutely. Your lab markers, which is the WBC is your white blood count cells. And that's, you know, if they're overactive or underactive, they mean different things. I look at it for bacteria in the stomach. Eosinophils is a very good indication as a blood marker. Higher low to me could indicate parasites. That's why they call you the gut girl. So, <laughs> so how do you do, can you just give us a brief rundown on how you do this liver cleanse? What do you do? So I do a pretty mild liver cleanse and I always include glutathione. I use um, some Chinese herbs um, to, to do a liver cleanse as well, because I want you to do it for 30 days instead of um, a one week push that might give you stool issues. I do a very mild one over 30 days. Do you do the um, Invigor? Um, um, you, is that what you use usually, that, um, the glutathione? Um, well, it depends on how, if we, if I have somebody who comes in with fatty liver, I do use the Invigor, um, um, some of the products from Invig Invigor and the injections of glutathione, because that's a much bigger problem than just doing a liver cleanse. So in different aspects of people, I'll use different things. Okay. So do you use precursors for now? But if you guys are curious, there's notes you can use the promo code VITALITY2. Uh, I think that's your promo yeah. code VITALITY2 if you want to find out more about injectable glutathione. Mm -hmm. um, Which I so, do. Yeah. Um, so how do you, do you use glutathione precursors? Do you use NAC? Is that what you do or? So it all depends on if somebody's a good detoxer or not. If somebody can detox well, then I will use glutathione. If somebody has a DNA SNP where they can't use glutathione, I always start with NAC. Okay. And so you, you're you having them either take the glutathione directly mm -hmm. or NAC and um, what, glycine or... Um, yeah, I'll use glycine. Glynac. Yep, yep. I'll use that in, in occasion. In occasion. It, it all depends on somebody's lab markers. I will do different protocols based on different lab markers. But normally, almost everyone, if they don't have a, a poor detoxing pathway, will get glutathione in that. Yeah, and I, okay, so... But you, I want you all to know, listening, that you've got to take the, get the right kind of glutathione or it's not going to work, right? Yes, yes. I normally always use liposomal glutathione. Yeah, because otherwise your gut will just destroy it. Yep, absolutely. If you guys have questions about this, put them in the comments section and we'll get Nicole to answer them for you. Yeah, absolutely. I do, uh, I do two shots of glutathione every week. Yep. Yep. So do I. And I'm a good detoxer. Yeah. And I can handle glutathione. There's some people out there who cannot handle glutathione and I don't give them it, but I give them the precursors like NAC to build up their own strength in glutathione. Right. Okay, Nicole. So uh, we know that um, you'll give people a hundred dollars off if they want to uh, know about, if they want to do your program. Yes. And if they want to find out more about it, um, how just mention this video and, and mm -hmm. you'll get that hundred dollars off. Yep. How do they get a hold of you? You can reach me by the email of the gut girl one at gmail.com or any social media platform at the gut girl NV. Okay. Nicole, thanks for being with us as always. Thank you for having me.